Hey everyone, this is CLS All in One, and today I'm going to be testing out an OBD2 car diagnostic scanner made by TrekPal. So let's take a closer look. So if you're interested in getting one of these, you can find these on Amazon for right around 17 bucks, and I'll make sure to post a link down below. As far as compatibility goes, this works for most cars from 1996 and up. It also has support for Android, iOS, and Windows with a connection via Wi-Fi. And if you're looking for one that connects via Bluetooth, they also have those for right around 21 bucks on that same page. And here's an up close look at the scanner. On this end it connects to your vehicle, then on the top of it here we have some LED lights that indicates when it's plugged in and when it's connected via Wi-Fi. Also included is a manual with very detailed instructions on the front and back. So it's time to test this out and plug it in, and I'm working on a 2008 Cadillac Escalade EXT. And the location where you plug this in is right here at the bottom of the dash, located right in the middle. So on different vehicles, it's gonna vary. It could be located on the passenger side, it could be located up higher on the side of the dash. Like I said, just different vehicles vary. Now it's time to connect whatever device you're gonna be using to the scanner. And for this video, I'll be using an Android phone and a tablet. So first thing you wanna do is open up your Wi-Fi settings and then find Wi-Fi OBD2 and then connect to it. And there should not be a password required to connect to it. And you may get this note saying internet may not be available. That's because this is not a true internet connection or just connecting to that diagnostic scanner. Next, you're gonna to wanna to download an app. For this video, I'm gonna be using Torque Pro. This is available on Google Play for about five bucks or you can get this app for free at elm327.com and I'll make sure to post a link down below for this site. And just to let you know, I did successfully download this app from this website and it does work, but it did take a few hours to download. It's kind of a slow download, but it does work. After installing the app on the device, it's time to go ahead and open it up. Now we're gonna to go to settings and we're gonna connect via Wi-Fi on the Torque Pro app. So I'm gonna go down to OBD2 adapter settings then choose connection type, and then select Wi-Fi. And this step is very important. If we don't change the connection type from Bluetooth to Wi-Fi, it won't be able to recognize the scanner and you won't be able to connect. Now I'm gonna click on adapter status and it does show me connected to the adapter, but not connected to the ECU, which is the car's computer. And that's because my car's not on, so now I'm gonna go ahead and start my car and now it should connect. And once you successfully connect to that OBD2 device, you should have all kinds of LED lights that start flashing, indicating that you're connected. So there's quite a few things you can access with this OBD scanner in the Torque Pro app. But my favorite feature by far is being able to check for fault codes. So if you have a check engine light that's on on your car, you can click on the fault codes and it's gonna kick back a code to tell you what's going on with your car. And luckily for me, I don't have a check engine light on and I don't have any fault codes. But if it does kick back a fault code, you'll probably end up with a numeric number, but you might not understand what that means. But all you have to do is write that down and then Google that number and you'll find out what that code actually means. And besides being able to check for fault codes, you can also access virtual gauges for all kinds of things on your vehicle. And if you happen to have an Android stereo for your car like myself, this app combined with the scanner is incredibly handy to have and very convenient. All right, everyone, thanks for watching. If you like that video, please click that like button. If you wanna hear more from me, please subscribe. And if you wanna see more of my videos, just click any of these links. Have a great day and I'll see you next time.